you can now build the full QR code experience. This means you can have both a QR code generator as well as a QR code scanner. So for example, let's say you have a ticket event app. You can have a ticket holder and those ticket holders have a, your own unique generated QR code that is their ticket and the event organizer can then find that event and go scan those specific tickets. That information will then be taken onto that app and they can actually see who the ticket holder is and mark them as checked in and it'll update the ticket in the database. So there are three simple steps to set this up. First, database setup and ticket creation. So inside of my database here, I have events, users, and ticket collections. Inside of the ticket, I have a name and I have references back to both events and users. And then here's the key. So I have a ticket ID and this is what's gonna set the unique QR code. Right now it's a text field. I'll show you how to set up in a second. I also have a checked in true false property. So as soon as uh, they click purchase, I'm gonna create the ticket for them. And that's gonna have the name, it's gonna tie back to the current event as well as the logged in user. And then here's the key. So in the ticket ID, I have that with a custom formula that adds a count. So it's gonna be unique because it's gonna be the number of tickets for that specific event. So when I go to check out the database, I can see that the ticket ID is the name as well as the ticket count for the total number of tickets in that event. That way it's a unique QR code in each one. So let's sell, show you how to set up the QR code now. So I'm gonna go inside of the component marketplace and I'm gonna scroll down and find the QR code generator right here. There are two of them in there. They both work amazing. So I'm gonna go inside of that one and then all I have to do is grab the magic text from that current ticket, ticket ID, the one that's unique that we just set up when you create the ticket. And then if I go to the database and check on that, so that individual unique text is then what's gonna show up in that QR code. Finally, we actually need to scan the QR code and get that information to whoever the admin in who's running the event. So I'm gonna go back to the component marketplace and I'm gonna find the QR code scanner. After the QR code scanner is installed, you simply drag it in and it's pretty much set up and it'll scan it automatically. But you need to add actions to it from wherever the data you're getting back. So I have two actions, change input value and then I link to another screen. Change input value, what does that mean? So actually on my results screen, I have a text form field input that is called scan ticket ID. And that is then gonna filter the list on that. So basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna scan it and then I'm gonna put the data that comes back from the QR code scanner. So I'm gonna select that with magic text and say, hey, put that into the value of the text input on that other screen. Then I'm gonna filter the list on that screen to only show the tickets where they're equal to that input value. And that's it. Couple of quick shout outs. We have NoCoder HQ as well as Zero Code and Intelbits, and they both built all these amazing components here. You can create your own custom component in the component marketplace. It's really simple and easy to get started. And I absolutely love our community for continuing to make Adalo amazing.